Yeah, hey, Alex here, going for a real little ride this morning. But just before I go, I wanna share something that I've been using in the last month. And it, it is this saddle, this 3D printed saddle from Physique. So the interesting thing of this saddle is that it's, it is made by over 14,000 carbon threads that make this very airy, you see these little holes on the saddle. So it's very interesting. And what does make this saddle so different than a regular saddle? So there is a manufacturer in California that makes physique saddles and also for Specialized. Same technology, they have uh, different approaches. But the th interesting thing is that they can make these saddles, 3D printed saddles. And these threads, how they make it, and the, because of the material, it will hold it, its density throughout the ride, different than a regular foam saddle. For example, this is also a saddle from Physique, and it's a foam saddle, and you can go two different ways. You can have a really soft saddle, and there's a misconception that the softer the better because people get it and say, hey, this is soft, um, it will be a comfortable ride. The problem with being too soft, a foam that's too soft, is that if 30, 40 minutes into the ride, it will be all compressed and smushed, and it will lose it, its effectiveness creating hot spots on the saddle. You can go the other way where it's a very dense, very hard saddle, like this one is a little on the hard side that will hold its form and will not deform, but it's a little harder. So you have to get a little used to. I tried this one, a lot of people like it, but I had a little trouble. I thought it was a little uh, too dense for a saddle. Now these, you don't have to be super hard or dense. And a nice thing of this is also that you can distribute the density. So you can have more threads to make it more dense in the middle where your sit bones will be. And on the sides, you can make it softer with less threads. And the third thing is that they can make this saddle pretty quickly. In a couple hours, they can print this saddle and test the prototypes. So they made a hundred of prototypes testing which configuration is better. And you can make different configurations depending on the saddle and types of rides you're gonna do. So pretty unique and interesting. And I've been riding it for a month. Now, the question is, is it worth it? Did it make a, a, a difference? Because there's a lot of technology out there where they bring to cycling that for the price of it, I don't know if it's worth it. And this saddle is not cheap. So should you get this saddle or for who this saddle is for? So let's hop on the bike and I'll share a little bit my experience riding these saddles. So I don't have much trouble with saddles or saddle soreness. Of course, it depends on the day. If you're tired, uh, if you're fatigued, it will consequently uh, mess up your posture and all of that. But the first time I tried this saddle was uh, on the trainer, an indoor, indoor ride. And I really did feel a difference there because on the smart trainer, you're stiffer, you have less play, and I do feel a little bit more saddle fatigue, let's say, on the trainer. And with this saddle, I did an hour, hour and a half, two hour session. Pretty impressed. And of course, I have been riding outside. Super comfortable. I'm really impressed with this saddle. I haven't done like four hour, five hour, six hour ride on it yet. Uh, I think the longest I did was three hours, three hours and a half. But guys, very impressed. Now, just because I said that, should you get a saddle like this? So who is this saddle for? And if you should get one? Because that's a great question. Lake Apopka. Nice little spot over here. So we're on the south side where Winter Garden is, and the other side, that's a popka, is where you find 
the Nature Preserve Trail where it's a gravel ride. I did a video with that uh, Berea bike on the trail. It was on the north side. It's one of the biggest lakes here in Central Florida. So who is this saddle for? If you're having a lot of issues with saddle soreness, where you're not feeling comfortable on the bike, a lot of times the answer is not a, a new saddle. It's the bike fit. So if you haven't done a bike fit yet, you should definitely do it. Between buying this saddle that will cost around $200, $300, it's a, almost what you're gonna pay for a bike fit, depending where you, you live. But I would definitely invest on a bike fit. It's a much better way to feel comfortable on the bike. If you're already done a bike fit for some time and you're still having a lot of saddle soreness or discomfort, then you should reassess, redo a bike fit, maybe with a different bike fitter that has a different insight, but uh, invest in a really good bike fit. I'm not saying those like bike fits when you buy the bike and the shop kinds of adjusts your saddle height like a real retool or real like bike fit with after you're done with that you have the right bike size the shape of the saddle you're used to like this saddle shape is very similar to the one i used to ride with a regular foam so i'm used to riding with this more longer uh saddle so i'm pretty adapted with this type of saddle just the technology that changed and yes it improved the comfort on the bike so do the basics first so wear a helmet first then get an upgrade on a helmet uh, more aero lighter helmet you know and the same thing with a saddle and the bike fit be have the right bike size have the right uh, saddle and then you can improve and then kind of have those marginal gains so I think it's totally worth it if I spend more than eight hours ten hours a week on a bicycle everything I can do to improve my comfort and to spend uh, hours on the bike and enjoy it I want uh, the best that I can put on my bike and this is one of them that I think it's totally worth investing paying the money if you're an avid, avid cyclist you spend long hours on the bike I think it's something you should try will I be using this saddle yes for sure this is my saddle that I will be using. I can give a follow up maybe in six months or so uh, to see how is it going. But so far, nice saddle. And so leave on the comments what you think about uh, if it's worth it. If you uh, have been using this 3D printed saddle, what is your opinion? And it's very humid and hot. Woo. So when you stop riding, you'd really feel the heat. So let me get back on the road. And I'll see you on our next ride experience. Ciao.